Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher J, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to focus on illustrating the six trigonometric ratios. So what are these six trigonometric ratios? Usually, this is sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So again, these are the six trigonometric ratios. Before that, let's define first what is trigonometry. Trigonometry derived from the Greek words trigonon and metron, meaning this is three angle measurement or it's all about triangle measurement. So let's consider this illustration. This is a right triangle. So we have to identify the different parts of this right triangle. Right triangle ACB, right angle at C. So this is a right angle. Opposite side of this right angle is the side C. Or we use lowercase letter to, pre to represent the side. And... Angle B, opposite side of this angle, that is side B. Okay, so we use again small letter or lower lowercase letter. And angle A, opposite side of this angle, that is side A. So we use again small letter A to represent side. Again, angle A, Opposite side of this, that is side A. And we have here this symbol. This is what we call theta. Okay? Again, this is what we call theta. So, meaning, this theta here, this is our reference angle. So, nandito po yung reference angle po natin, that is angle B or the theta. So, now, kung ito yung reference angle natin, identify po natin kung saan yung opposite adjacent, and hypotenuse. So, yung reference angle natin is at angle B, so that is theta. Yung opposite side niyan, that is side B, and that is our opposite side. Okay? And yung adjacent, itong angle na ito, that is side A. And our hypotenuse is yung side C. Okay? So, yun yung mga parts ng ating right triangle. Let's have another one. What if yung reference angle natin ay nasa angle A? Asan yung opposite? Asan yung adjacent? And saan yung hypotenuse? So, again, angle A, opposite side of it, this, that is side A. And this is now our opposite side. Okay, kasi nandito na yung ating reference angle. Next, ang adjacent natin ngayon ay yung side B. Okay? And then, our hypotenuse, yung hypotenuse po, hindi yan po mag-iiba uh, yung, yung position or uh, pesto. Kasi nga, ito na po yung longest side po natin. Or that is side C. Okay? So, that is on how to identify, identify the different parts of this right triangle. And now, we are going to find the six trigonometric ratios based from this given right triangle ACB. So, if you are going to get the sine theta, so, ang reference angle natin ay nasa angle B, or that is theta. So, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Yung opposite natin, that is B, and then our hypotenuse is C. So, it is equal to B over C. So, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse or it is equal to B over C. Cosine or cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, again, ito yung reference angle natin. If we are going to find cosine theta, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. Or that is equal to A over C. Kasi ang adjacent natin ay A and hypotenuse natin ay C. Next, we are going to find 
tangent theta. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Or it is equal to B over A. So that is on how to find sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. So parang mas, uh, para mas madali nyong matandaan kung paano kumuha ng sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta, we use Sokotoa. Ano ibig sabihin ng Sokotoa? Ito yung mnemonic used to for remembering equations para mas madaling matandaan. Ano ba yung Sokotoa? So means sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Again, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Next, yung ka naman, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And then, yung towa, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, tatandaan nyo lang yung, yung word na ito or yung uh, mnemonic na ito kasi ito yung parang clue para mas madaling matandaan yung sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay? Next, how about the three ratios? Sabi natin kanina, anim na trigonometric ratios. So, yung cosecant theta is equal to yung reciprocal po ng ating sine. Again, if we are going to find cosecant theta, that is the reciprocal of sine theta or the inverse po. So, that is hypotenuse over opposite or that is equal to C over B. Next, yung secant theta is equal to yung inverse naman or reciprocal ng ating cosine theta. So, that is hypotenuse over adjacent. Or this is equal to C over A. Next, yung cotangent theta, that is equal to yung reciprocal po naman natin ng tangent theta. So, that is adjacent over opposite. Or this is equal to A over B. So, para mas madaling matandaan ito, kailangan alam nyo muna yung, yung sokatowa. Okay? Pero meron akong bibigay dito para mat madali ding matandaan. Itong cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. So, pwede rin yung gamitin nito. Co, sha, kau. Okay? So, yung cosha kau is cosecant is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Ito naman siya, secant is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. Yung cow, cotangent is equal to adjacent or over, uh, over opposite. So, ito yung mga six trigonometric ratios. Now, let's have an example. Refer to the figure of triangle ACB or right triangle ACB. Find the following ratios. Sine A, cosine B, tangent A, and secant B. So, based from this right triangle, we have the measurements. AC is equal to 5. AB, side AB is equal to 13. And CB is equal to 12. So, angle A, opposite side of this, that is side A, right? And... Oh, this angle B, opposite side of this, that is side B. And this angle po, uh, right angle, opposite side of this, that is side C. Okay, so first one is hahanapin muna natin si sin A. Kapag sin A, ibig sabihin yung angle A po natin, yun, nandun yung reference angle. At yun yung reference angle po natin. So nandito yung reference angle natin sa angle A. So, hahanapin natin yung ratios ng sin A. So, alam natin, kapag sin, that is opposite over hypotenuse. So, ang opposite natin dyan, 
is 12. And then, yung hypotenuse natin, that is 13. So, sine A is equal to 12 over 13. Next, cosine B. Iksabihin sa cosine B, yung angle B po natin ang reference angle. Pag cosine, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, kapag ang reference angle natin ay angle B, identify natin kung saan yung adjacent and hypotenuse. Ang adjacent natin dyan is yung 12 at yung hypotenuse natin ay 13. So, that is 12 over 13. So, cosine B is equal to 12 over 13. Next, tangent A. So, again, ang reference angle na rin nat pa rin natin or ang the reference angle is angle A. Okay? And then, identify natin kung saan yung opposite and adjacent or hypo and hypotenuse. Sa tangent, that is equal to opposite over adjacent, yung towa. And then, ang opposite natin dyan, that is, since ang reference angle ay A, opposite side of this, that is side A. So, that is 12 over, yung adjacent natin, that is 5. So, we have 12 over 5. Next, secant B. So, ang reference angle natin ay angle B. Ang secant B, di ba ang reciprocal po neto, para makuha si secant B, ay reciprocal po ng cosine B or cosine. Ma? Since parehas sila ng reference angle yung cosine sa secant, so getting the reciprocal of this cosine B that is hypotenuse over adjacent. Tama? So, ang hypotenuse natin dyan is yung 13. And then, ang adjacent natin that is 12. Kasi ang reference angle natin ay nasa angle B. So, that is 13 over 12. So, that is on how to find the ratios of this illustration. So, if you have questions or clarifications, just type your questions po sa ating comment section. Keep safe and God bless.